Hi, I'm Alana James from the Hot Club of Cowtown, and you're watching Robert Houston's Western Swing Rules. Hello, and welcome to Western Swing Rules. I'm Alana James, and today I wanted to look at this beautiful solo by J.R. Chatwell, who is a hugely influential Western Swing fiddle player, and he was one of the very, very favorites of Johnny Gimble. And um, one thing that really typifies J.R. Chatwell's style is this solo that he took which works over the changes to right or wrong. So Whit Smith is here with me, and what we're gonna do is, I'll play the melody to right or wrong, which is in the key of G. I'm gonna also just show what the chord progression is for the song, and then we're gonna play the solo in time, and maybe play it slowly, and then I just wanted to talk about maybe the four or five elements of this solo that are so cool that you can throw into different parts of your soloing. Shall we? Yeah. All right. Give it work. I'll play the melody and take it off. One, two, I just wanted to show you quickly what the changes are to this song, okay? It's in the key of G, but like a lot of Western swing tunes, it is based on this 6-2-5-1 progression, which means that it starts on, we'll just do it, we'll sort of chunk through the song, so it's one, two, a one, two, three, four, E7, A7, D7, G. It goes G, G minor, D7, a7, D7, and then it does all that again, E7, A7, D7, B7, back to E7, A7, G, D, G. Okay, so those are the changes of this song. So now let's play the solo again, but maybe not as fast as we did before, just so you can take a look at it, and then we'll just talk about a few features of it that are kind of cool. Or should I say, really cool. Okay, one, two, one, two, three, four. So there are just a few things I wanted to say about this solo, cool features. One is the um, the amount of time that J.R. Chatwell takes to just pause between his ideas. So at the very beginning, it's like one, two, a one, two, three, four. Right, so that's already cool. It's like he's speaking in these phrases, which I think is really important to, it's not only what you are playing, but what you aren't playing is equally important in these kinds of, these kinds of moments. Um, another thing that he does is over the B7 chord in the second half, he plays this parallel fifth with his first finger. Want to put that one in context? Yeah, yeah. One, 
two. I want two, three, four. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. okay, two. I want two, three, four. Okay, so that's that's one of my favorite things about the solo. That's something that Steph Smith does a lot of, where he'll go. It's very easy to do. You just put your fat finger between two strings at the same time. But another cool thing about that part is just sitting on one note for a while. So not only playing, he's not only playing this double stop parallel fifth with his first finger, but he sits on that B7 and just goes, which is very effective. Another thing I like about this solo is that at the beginning of the second half, he goes all the way up over that E7 chord and he hits the F sharp and then he comes back down. That, we just played that, but we'll show that again. Yeah. So one, two, a one, two, three, four. Let's do it again, maybe I'll get it in tune. Two, a one, two, three, four. us to one of my other favorite parts of the solo which is the very end which is more of those those parallel ideas this is a complete Johnny Gimbal trademark which I probably overuse but it's ending a song in G with that's it's, it's a cool um, it's just a cool move that's uh, I always think of Johnny Gimbal when I hear that so so far and that's just about all I wanted to point out about this solo was taking time between your phrases, sliding up, you can overshoot the note or go right for it, but taking time to slide way up to a note and then making a phrase out of it, playing the same note more than once, sitting on it, and playing parallel fifths with your fingers. That's a very Steph Smithy kind of an idea. And then the lick at the end, which is... Sure. Okay, so we're going to play it one more time. If you want to play along, we're going to play. I'll play the melody while Wit's playing, graciously playing chords for us, and then I'll play that solo again. So here we go. One, two, a one, two. <laughs> It's Robert Houston, executive producer of Western Swing Rules. If you'd like to know more about some great fiddle improvisation and how to develop your skills, check out Alana's instructional DVD entitled Hot Fiddle at her website, alanajames.com or hotclubofcowtown.com. Thanks for watching Western Swing Rules.